Lesson 62, A Course in Miracles. Forgiveness is my function as the light of the world. I put on my wool socks this morning, the ones that I found at garage sales, little homemade things. Well, this one's probably not homemade, but this one is, and I just love it. Usually I have my Ugg boots on. Oh. This is me. <clears throat> this is what it looks like when I'm sitting in front of the computer. You know how it is with cats. And if I don't pay attention to her, she will go and step all over the keyboard and get me off of my, off of what I'm doing. I have to go now. Goodbye. <laughs> so funny. Early morning outside. I'm looking at what the diggers, diggers, but they are not inside my fences. <laughs> so I was thinking about um, some of the, the Lenten lessons that I have been learning. Oh, the grass is wet. Well, I think I'll just, I think I'll just stay here on the sidewalk. Look at all the birds. So my Lenten lessons. Um, one of the very first Lenten lessons that I have been like, ooh, really? I think I'll try that on, is the whole idea about resistance. You've heard, you know, um, Especially if you're like in the in the metaphysical community, um, the whole saying that says whatever, <coughs> pardon me, <coughs> whatever we resist persists. And what's what's super interesting about that for me is. That's the meme going on right now. I mean, you know, like the whole resist the government, resist uh, chemtrails, resist, uh, resist, resist, resist is like huge right now. Even when uh, Lover and I were driving down the freeway, um, for years there's been somebody that creates these huge signs and puts them up in these places where uh, it takes a lot to get to, so the authorities won't take them down for a long time. And I saw they put up a big resist sign. Down here in um, San Diego, a thousand people got together and situated themselves on the beach and with their bodies created this big resist. And then somebody sent a drone up high and and took a picture of it and it's like wow there's all this energy for resisting and here I am at Lent and Lent can be seen as a resistance like resist the flesh resist your hunger resist your vices and that's one way I mean, I don't want to resist the resisting, you know what I mean? But since last year, I had this thing about um, Lent being more, 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 yes, yes, yes. And the reason why I did that, for me personally, is that that more, 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 yes, 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 is a scary thing for me. I like, you know, like, boundaries and this is my place and that's your place and or I've got to make sure that I that I have a boundary around what I allow for myself because if I don't I'll just probably go crazy I'll just 
if I don't have resistance in my prescribed diet or my prescribed way of thinking, I'll go crazy. I won't. I couldn't be trusted. I'd, I'd turn into a, a harlot or I'd gain all kinds of weight. You <laughs> like? That's my crazy screwed up stuff. Whatever you got is whatever you got. We all got that kind of stuff somewhere. Unless you don't. So it came up for us uh, yesterday because, <laughs> you know, Lover, Lover, obviously he has uh, health issues that for the life of me, I can't find an alternative medicine way to get us out of. I mean, that is so God. It's, it's like, what a fun puzzle. And so, because of that, the resistance that we've had to, you know the white coats, you know the pharmaceutical industry, oh, they're so evil. Resist them, resist them. And so, here now, we can't resist them. Or yeah, we could. No, we absolutely could. We absolutely could resist them. And I don't know for sure, but maybe in the resisting of it, Lover could have a stroke and that could be his way out. We all need a way out, right? So, I mean, yes, we could. And, and I'm trying on this whole idea of not resisting death even. Like, born and die, what is that? You know, that's a whole other video, but this one is on resisting. And so yesterday, um, we get this prescription for, for blood pressure for lover and we get in the car and, um, lover says, I just gave up. I thought that was interesting, you know, cause even though we're with each other all the time, all the stuff that goes on between our ears, we don't blah, blah, blah to each other. So I didn't know that that was what was going on with him, you know, but he, he said, I just, I'm just not going to resist anymore. And it was a big deal for him to go get this blood pressure medication. It was a big deal for both of us, right? Because we're social justice warriors, man, and part of that is standing against the man and the pharmaceutical industries, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> but if none of this is real, and according to A Course in Miracles, this is tough, I'm right there with you, but according to A Course in Miracles, all types of medicine are a form of resistance against what is real or the truth. I gotta say this because there's some of you who are like on the fence about A Course in Miracles. I think I'll try that. That seems like it's working. But there's stuff in there that's that I'm in resistance to. And that is that all forms of medicine, even herbs, are what Brother Jesus in the in the course calls magic a way to fool ourselves magic with a C I've already said the whole magic with the K thing so don't get your panties in a bunch which is that's a whole like a whole other conversation don't take anything in sound bites there's a lot to roll out with all of this stuff but anyway resistance <laughs> trying on for Lent God is good. God is love. Everything is God. Everything is love. Everything. Except, no, no, no. Everything. What if we just go with it? What if we just go with whatever happens? And I have to say, I have a little trepidation in saying that because this Lent has been so magical that it seems like every time I say something, something like, something like shows up. <laughs> you know, like, do I really, 
Lord help me, do I really have the heart for it? But this is a journey and I started on the journey, this 40 day journey. And let's see, let's see what happens. Like, is everything really God? Do I really live in a safe universe? Or am I alone here out in a faraway swamp planet where God forgot? These are thoughts that I have really uh, thought about. Do I really live as an idea in the mind of God and ideas do not leave their source? And isn't that the closest embrace? Closer even than the air that I breathe. So, it's all part of this journey, like not resisting. And it's just a small thing. That's just a small thing. And uh, on this journey, that could create fear. But one of the things that I've been learning as I've been looking into the teacher, I told you about uh, Robert Adams, Byron Katie, Ramana Maharshi is, um, I've been getting back into the, uh, the Eastern way of thought and the whole idea of karma, which is a whole other subject. I know that people say there is no such thing as karma. Yeah, on level one consciousness, there is karma in the low and the slow. Malkuth Yesod. For, the, for those of you who are in, uh, into Kabbalah. And we create karma as the rolling ball that we are. We actually create karma by resisting. And so in my mind picture, I have, I have of myself as this rolling ball moving through the illusion of time <clears throat> as skidding, like a ball that skids. <sighs> Obviously, balls are not meant to skid. They are meant to roll freely. But if I, as the rolling ball, through the learning device of time, choose to resist and skid, I create friction and the friction that I create by the skidding, the, the not trusting, causes static to build up and things get attached to me. That's like, that's like the, the picture that I have of it. So what I'm doing is, uh, and sometimes it's fearful for me is I'm allowing my life to provide me with experiences that will give me the lessons and how willing am I to um, simply go with it and and just be like this this open-hearted and that is good and that is good and that is love and that is God to, to be like that like Whatever it is that our life brings to us, <clears throat> some of us have like incredible things that we're moving through that could, could be fearful, but maybe, you know, maybe like just simply looking at it in another way, we can actually get a lot get our money's worth out of the situation, the experience. So that's my thoughts on my first Lenten thoughts for the morning. So it's day three of Lent. It's going to be easy to figure out what day of Lent it is, at least for a little while. 
because it's corresponding with the days of the month. Anyway, um, today Lover and I actually have some work that we get to do, which is super because we have hardly had any. And so what I have done is, because I never know if I'm going to be able to get back to uh, dig out of the fishbowl to see who wins the free reading every day. And by the way, uh, for those of you that are playing with me, I actually, I've had people that have been emailing me at nannycrone at cox.net saying, am I too late? No, you're not too late. I'm keeping everybody's name. And um, every day I'm just picking from whatever. It doesn't matter if you were there on the first day or if you're there on the last day. Everybody has an equal equal opportunity to get a reading. And also, people just that I meet on the street. So that's why I'm, I'm taking my cards with me today in my purse. And just in case... Uh, it comes up, then do do a reading on the go, on the street. Yeah, so yeah, it's like, it's part of this whole I'm not planning thing, which, which is, you know, I'm so new at it. I'm so new at this like present moment, I'm not planning thing, that sometimes even that is just like so stressful for me, like, <gasps> like yesterday. Like, I even got a little bit resistant with Lover because when we went to the last doctor, which is our chiropractor, Lover likes to talk. You know, he's such a friendly boy. And so he was he was in there for 40 minutes. And I had stayed in the car because I was trying to force his hand a little bit. Like, you know, I'll stay in here and you get it done, okay? And then let's go, all right? Because... I want to get home and do this reading, okay? And and of course, he couldn't help himself. He was just like so full of love and happiness being where he was with his chiropractor buddy and they had to yip and yap and and I created some karma because I was in resistance to it and he got in the car and I was a little snippy. Uh, he's so funny because it's always such a surprise to him when I get, when I get snippy, he's like, in his cute, innocent, happy, pure self. He's like, well, why would you be mad at me? He's so cute. I just love him. So childlike in so many ways, which I would like to be myself. So anyway, how how it works is, um, oh, this is, this is a jar. How it works is I... I'm not planning and it's like whoever shows up is who shows up there is one exception that I am making for this Sunday um, so there is kind of a plan but we'll see what happens with that so I have a friend who's, who's driving in and keep that in my in my thinker so that's how this free reading, one free reading a day for Lent. And I'm having a glorious time. And I look forward to every single person that I get to come across. I just put my oil on my face. <clears throat> the oil that I use on my face is an infused oil of calendula. And that is... Um, that is like soaking calendula petals in olive oil for a really long time, like for about a year. <clears throat> so I let them, I let my infused oil sit for a long time. And then I add essential oil to it. I think what I did, I can't remember for sure, and my olfactories are so used to certain smells that it doesn't really even smell it. And so then I put a little bit of uh, lavender essential oil in it to help preserve it. But then I, and then I put that all over my face and my face will drink it in. I only do it once a day. Put it on my face, my chest, backs of my hands, blah, blah, blah. And then I put a little bit of frankincense essential oil here on this, this burn mark. 
because I was thinking that that might even kind of scar up. So another thing is I'm making my bed, doing my morning stuff in here. And this, this contemplation came through is, and that is that we only see what we're looking for. Hmm. We only see what we're looking for. Yes. Yes. Look at all those seedlings. Look at that. There's even some fever few making its way. Yes. Do you see? It's these these fences keeping the diggers from getting into my garden and giving the seedlings a chance. What about over here? Now see, did I just still have not had time to put anything around here. Seedlings have no chance. Seedlings have no chance. That's all right, so I'm learning the lesson. Let me just go check on out here in this little shady spot of understory. I see nothing. I see nothing as of yet, but you'll notice how much dirt is in the path. Okay, nothing as of yet here, but that's okay. I have a little success, and it's making me very happy. So happy. Hope I wasn't going too fast. I was just like so excited. So excited. Let me look over here. Well, look at what the mar marjoram is doing. I just love marjoram. You can just smell it. Lovely. Okay, let's see. No. Did I plant anything over here? I don't think so. I mean, I've got a whole bunch of leeks that I separated. They fell down as a seed head and grew in one big clump, and then I separated them out got some borage that's from receding itself anything else going on no no not really this guy just is just doing its deal this guy just this whole garden here just does and I'm gonna let it. I got, I've got lots of little microclimates around here. So this is the Queen of Sheba that's in the back by our little workshop back here next to the chilks. See, that's our little workshop room in there. And then I'm getting three eggs from the chicks now. But <clears throat> Rebecca, she's getting more because her chicks are more in the sun than mine are. I can't let my chicks out. For one thing, they craze up my garden. But for another thing, this is Hawkland. But I just love this big mama pepper tree and then the queen of sheba is just like so luxurious right now so cool i'm actually feeling a little bit of an unorganized mess Ugh. what time is it anyway it's 8 23 i have a little bit of time my plan actually is to get Lover and I ready to go and best possible scenario to have our salad for our lunch and our fresh juice. But I'm just taking it one step at a time and bone broth is next. Oh, those motherfuckers, they raised it again? I started using these 
small flat rate boxes to send out uh, small size goodie boxes way back when it was five dollars and twenty five cents then it went up to six eighty and then they just buy them oh timing is going pretty good today let's see quarter to eleven is it quarter to ten what time is it yeah, quarter to ten. Our first job isn't until eleven. So I think I'm going to have time to get our set. Look, the edible flowers are in. So all this is going to be our salad. I'm getting into uh, the long-term food storage, guys. Because with long-term food storage, you do have to make sure that you use what you have. So that chicken breast is going to go in our salad for today. We'll probably be gone again all day long. I have my particular greens. I'm just going to do the big tree collard greens in my juice. And you'll notice it's just a little bit because when you're eating these many greens, you don't actually have to have huge green juice. But, um, you know, this, this juice is the apples, the carrots, the ginger, and the lemon. So let's get on with this. I really tried. I mean, you can see that I've... I'm, I got these little baby cucumbers that have none growing in my garden right now. They're supposed to be good to February 12th. It's only the 3rd right now. It's the second time this has happened. Last time I just ate, I didn't eat it, but I ate it, so to speak. Just tossed it out into the garden. I was just getting ready to do that again because they're all sticky and prishnuckety. But they're from Costco, my friends. And so they're not going to my salad today, but we are going to Costco today again. And so this is going back. We'll have you, had to get a you picture. know, go with us. Oh, my friend but, Kelly. Guess what? I'm going to show you what yeah. Kelly brought. It's a little solar-powered Virgin Mary. Is that... So cute. Just put her in the sun. And she says, Hava, 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 Hava. Brunch. So I, I hit a lot. See, because I, I pressed it in. But that is like Friday of Lent. No meat. No meat to Catholics means no red meat they can have fish but I'm not following all that anyway uh, but I but I just thought I would point out I got chicken that's not no meat so lover and I see this sign it says we carry space jam Oh, I bet it's for smoking. Could be. They smoke the jam. Huh. What do you think of that mosaic, everybody? It's a pretty nice mosaic. Yeah, it is. How'd they get the people, or is that just like, it looks like photoshopped on her? No, the, it might have been photoshopped onto the tile. It's really beautiful. Yeah, but there's not squares in between the people. Either it's either yeah, it's, big tiles or it's cut in. Well, oh, that's like a bona fide piece of art. Bona fide. Look, and then there's the moon over there, and and then there's the um, Venus over there. That's cool. And then the flag says Ocean Institute.
Turn left. We're going into a ritzy joint. Look at the gates. I don't think these are all ritzy. I think they're pretty dang ritzy. Laguna Canyon Road traffic jam. Traffic what time is jam. It? I don't know. Maybe two o'clock or something. Just a little back roads, Laguna Beach. I'm telling you, these people live in abject butoverty. So Lover and I, with my... Lover, this looks like somebody put a, a cigarette out on my forehead. Tell them that's what happened. I'll see. I wouldn't do that. Anyway, uh, this next thing that we're doing today is go being filmed for a very special person. You know who you are. We are in a very special candy store for Lover, where there's actually wine tasting. Down that way, there is a room where you can smoke and drink. And then there's all this booze everywhere. And we have come here because someone blessed Lover with a little surprise. Booze classes? There's, there's booze classes here too. The March of Love. Joshua, this is for you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's your It's nectar. my favorite, and I haven't had it like for two or three months, man. I'm... It's your nectar. That it's you nectar. Give it. It's nectar. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Just got out of Trader Joe's. Oops. Doing goat's milk, tater tots with the chicken tonight. Now we're going to get what, lover? Lotto. Lotto. Right. How do you say it? Lotto. It's not lotto. 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 We're gonna go get lotto. We're gonna win a million bucks! Play lotto. on YouTube too because it's the sunset for lovers look at friendly boy Puck Puck we're gonna take your picture while you hop around. We're gonna make it famous, Buck. Now don't, but don't talk loud, cause Puck looks like he's little. Okay. Hi, Puck. Nice, Buck. Hello. Hi, Buck. Yeah, there's hardly any dogs here at all, and you're just fine. Yeah. Yes, you are. You're just fine, Puck. A couple minutes to figure out. He's like, Oh, yeah, I'm outside again. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on, buddy. Good old boy. Monday night, he got into 
our medicine cabinet and he chewed on a liquid Advil. So we had to call ASPCA poison control. And I guess it, it can cause stomach ulcers. So we've been giving him meds all week. <laughs> Keep him kind of mellow. So this is his first time outside all week. Wow. Did he react to it? Not really. I mean, he developed a slight fever, but that was it. Is he, is he mischievous? Exceptionally. That's why we gave him his name, Puck. It's uh, named after the fairy from Midsummer Night's Dream. Yes, everyone knows Puck. I wondered about that. My wife being the literary buff she is, she's like, well, he's a Holland Lop. It's a Dutch fable, so we're going to go with that. Yeah, yeah, I think so, you precious angel. You ate an Advil, did you? Go up, Go on. Get at it. Do it. Do it, man. Go on. Go on. Visit all the lovers. There's so many lovers here tonight. Go on. No, don't you love that? I thought at first I'm like, that's a little tiny shit like, no, it's not. That is, that's Puck the Rabbit. He's our little guy. Oh my god, so good. He won't run away? No. He likes to get near the street for some reason, but other than that, he's pretty good. Isn't that pretty? It's all fly ash. He gets along with her. And chemtrail slurry. Really? But. It makes for a pretty sunset. I know, I'm like and amazing. There's just and Puck. Like hanging out. Puck's just hanging out right here. Oh, I don't know because I'm looking at Puck. Because I'm looking at Puck who smells good. <laughs> he just, he's just chilling. Oh man. How's the homestead? It's awesome. 